Hello and welcome. In this video, you will see a demo of a very cool feature we added to the Backendless platform called Backendless Hosting Scripts. This feature enables you to run your own Node.js code in the Backendless file hosting environment. Let me demonstrate how this works. First of all, I will create a new application and I will call it Hosting Scripts Demo. Now that the application is created, I will navigate to the Files section. And if you are familiar with Backendless and used it before or using it now, you will recognize this section. Now what's going to be new is under the web folder, you will see the scripts directory. And this directory is added for every new application that you will create with Backendless. There is a sample script here. In fact, there are two of them. One of them is called hello.js. To see the contents of this file, click on this icon, which is the editing of the file. And as you can see, this is a very basic hello world example using Node.js. In fact, to run this example, I will get the URL of the file by clicking this icon and we'll open it up in a new browser. This is the response from the script. In fact, if I go to the script and make a slight change, and save the file, once I reload the script, you can see the change right away. The other example that I mentioned is more complex. And in fact, it is located under the examples directory, shopping cart. There are several scripts here. And what they do is they work with a virtual shopping cart, which is stored in the canvas cache until you purchase items from the shopping cart. There are various methods to add items to the shopping cart, to see its contents, to update the quantity of an item in the shopping cart, there are various models, which are just JavaScript objects used to exchange data. And there is also an HTML file that will give you an ability to run those scripts. You can see any of those scripts by using the edit icon button. So this is the script for adding an item to the shopping cart. And let me show you how this would work. So first of all, we're going to get the URL for the index.html and we'll open it up in the browser. In here, there are buttons to execute various actions. So first of all, we can add an item by invoking addItems.js. We can click this button to add more items. And then for every one of these, you will see what the request uh, contains and what the response from the script is. And uh, here, if we click, we see the contents of the shopping cart. In fact, this is an array of objects and this one is a TV set, this one is a pen, and this one is a pencil. I'm going to skip deleting an item. You can guess what this does. And the final one is, to, is clicking the purchase button, which invokes purchase.js. There you go. Now, if we return back to Backendless and navigate to the data section, you'll see that there is an order table that was created, which contains three shopping items. These records were created by the Node.js script that is running as a part of this example. So remember, if we go to files, it is going to be web scripts folder. Creating a new script is very easy. There is a new script button. You click on it and you get the minimally required code for hosting scripts. So I'm going to give it a name, save the file, get the URL for it and open in a browser. There you go. So this is coming from that code. So that's pretty much it as far as hosting scripts. There is a wide variety of things that you can do. And starting from now, Backendless File Hosting is no longer static content. You can create fantastic dynamic code in there that would be powered by the Backendless platform. Thank you and happy scripting.